Another day, another opportunity to go practice. Let's get into it. Hi, I'm Brian from Airflow Music. Welcome back to another video. This is the October 9th edition of our Go Practice Daily Series. I hope you're having a great day today. For this one, I'm going to stick with the same exercise that we've been playing for the past few days. This is our 5 bar static tonguing exercise. I've been rather enjoying this one. It had fallen out of my personal routine for a little bit too long, so I've been grateful for the reminder. This is called the 5 bar exercise because it consists of a 5 bar rhythmic pattern that we repeat for a series of pitches. In this particular version, our rhythmic pattern consists of one bar of eighth notes, one bar of eighth note triplets, one bar of sixteenth notes, a one bar hold followed by a one bar rest. And the sequence of pitches we'll be playing this on in part one starts at low C and works our way chromatically down to low F sharp. In common with how we've been doing this for the past few days, I'm focusing to begin with on keeping everything nice and smooth. So we're going to use a very tenuto style of tonguing with everything very connected, nothing staccato at all. This way we can keep our air moving nice and smoothly and just dance the tongue in and out of the airstream. Also, each part of this exercise is played as a long setting, so the mouthpiece remains on our chops throughout and we breathe through our nose on the bar rest. The notes will be up on screen so you can play along, and if you'd like a free PDF of this exercise, you can find a link to the Airflow Music online store where you can download it. Let's get into playing part one. Today our tempo is 92 beats a minute. Part one has us off to a good start once again, as we know by now, particularly if you've played along for a couple of days, part one's fairly easy going. It's good to get started, good to get set a little bit, and good to get the air flying and the tongue moving. Now it's time to get into part two, where things start to become a little more challenging. For part two, the rhythmic pattern remains the same, but now the sequence of notes changes. So we're going to start on low C once again, but this time we're going to make our way chromatically upwards. Ultimately, hopefully, covering two octaves and making our way to high C. The goal is to maintain the long setting for as long as we can up through the pattern, but at the point at which this stops being possible, either because it doesn't feel good any longer, or because we can't get the notes out, then that's the point at which we're going to take a short break, probably for about 15 or 20 seconds, at which point we can reset, regroup, and start back from where we left off, and continue, hopefully, reaching up to the high C. Obviously, since I'm recording this, I'm going to go as far as I can. If your long setting needs to break earlier than mine, then just go ahead and do so. Pause the video, take your short break, and then continue on. And we only take one break in this exercise, so after you've taken your first break, continue again from where you left off, go as far as you can. If you can't make it all the way up to high C, that's fine. Note where you made it to, and try and do better tomorrow. Right, let's get into playing part two. Once again, we're going at 92 beats a minute.
curses. I almost made it all the way through. That's a few notes on the high C better than yesterday, but still not quite there. Let's take a short break and then finish this off. Part 2 is improving for me day by day. On this occasion I was able to make it up to high C but not actually complete that rhythmic pattern on high C. So that was the point in which I had to take a break and repeat. But that's, you know, one note better than I'd done yesterday and four or five notes further along than I was on the first couple of days that we played this exercise. So there's definitely some improvement there and it's getting easier and easier to maintain. I think that with playing this for a few more days I'll be able to make it comfortably up to the high C in the single setting and perhaps even beyond. Of course, playing a high C as the upper limit is completely arbitrary and we should play this as high as we can actually to help develop our range. Now, the trick at this point, as we've said in previous videos, is to take a short break, probably two or three minutes, before we move on to playing part three. And that's partly why I'm talking to you in the interim. I'm interested to know how you're finding this long setting. So please do leave me a comment down below and let me know how you're getting on with this longer long setting on part two. How far are you getting with it? And have you noticed the improvement doing it a few days in a row? With that, it's probably time to prepare to move on to part three. And we're simply going to repeat part one. So we're going to start back on low C and play our rhythmic pattern chromatically down to the low F sharp once again. It's a nice cool down, gets everything rebalanced a little bit, and I think we'll all feel much better for it. So let's play part three. we're done. I don't know about you but I feel much better for doing that. Part three was a little better today. I did purposefully time out my break today so I was a little less flaky than I had been on part three yesterday. Felt much better for it too. It's nice to help everything relax a little bit. Anyway that's what I have for today. If I fail to explain anything about this exercise or if you have any other questions about it then please do leave me a comment down below. Otherwise if you've enjoyed playing along with me then please do hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I'll be back with another one of these tomorrow. Until then, I think you know what to do. Go practice. <laughs>